Before we get started, I have got to thank all of my subscribers in the Quick Fix family. And if you guys are joining for the first time, I wanna thank you too for watching. You know, I have cooked so many delicious recipes on this show. So be sure to go back and check those videos out. And while you're there, Dad, we want them to hit the what? Subscribe button. <laughs> Subscribe button. Yeah, right. Wanna do that again? And Dad, we want them to hit the what? Subscribe button. No, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe button. Let's hit it. That. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on what we are basting, brewing, or baking, and hopefully not burning. <laughs> <laughs> I am so incredibly excited to have my dad with me here today. Thank you, too. you know, Dad, you joined me in the kitchen before. Yes. Um, you made your incredible, delicious spaghetti and that garlic bread in one of my, I have to say, it's definitely one of my favorite videos. I enjoyed it. You are such an incredible father, and you are always there to help me out with your grandchildren and my children, Cree and Cairo. So Thank you so much, Dad, for just taking the time out to come on the show today. Thank you, Tia. Love you, Dad, 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 Dad. All right, first and foremost, we want to heat our oven at 275 degrees, okay? So while that is heating up, we are going to start on our rub. Okay. And the rub is, in my opinion, the rub and the barbecue sauce, of course, is the most important thing because that adds flavor, right? So this is paprika. Yes. Okay. We're gonna add all of this salt in here, okay? Onion powder, okay. okay? And garlic powder. I just feel like the onion flavor and the garlic flavor, it just takes everything to the next level. I don't know, it just makes everything just taste yeah, it does. amazing. And then we have cumin cool. or cumin. Let me know in the comments below which one is it. Is it cumin or cumin? cumin? What do you say? Cumin. Cumin. That's what I was like. Cumin, okay, we got some cumin here. And then we have some pepper. And basically, we're just gonna whisk all of this together. Dad, do you mind putting this in the sink for me, please? No, 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 I got it. Um, I clean as I go, and who did I get that from? Definitely. Definitely. Daddy. Dad. <laughs> While you're whisking this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the star of this dish, the baby back ribs. So we have our baby back ribs right here. Okay, I gotta take off my rings. I'm taking off my rings because we are here. working with raw meat. So I just wanna make sure I take that off. Um, but while we, I guess, oh, you know what I wanna do here too? Okay. I wanna reserve a tablespoon of this rub okay. because we're gonna add it into our barbecue sauce later. Okay. Menu today is we are doing our barbecue ribs. So the ribs are for the red. Then we're gonna do my apple uh, coleslaw. Okay. And that is for the white. And then the uh, blue is basically for our dessert. I'm making this really nice, you know, cake. Okay. With the colors red, white, and blue. It's like a fruit. That'll work. Or a berry Red, white, and blue. Cake. Red, white, and blue. So dad, do you have any tips on the type of meat to get? Meaning, do you need to have a lot of fat on the ribs? Like, I always like to try to minimize the amount of fat. And then when did you start barbecuing? Like, cause when I was in the military. When I first joined, okay. uh, probably the first place we went was Berlin. And then- uh, So I was born in Germany, you guys. I was born in Gelhausen, Germany. It yep. used to be West Germany. Um, so that's why my dad mentioned, you know, Berlin. Cause we, I mean, I don't remember it. Cause we were, uh, when, when did I move? Was I only like, was I so, two years old? From, when, when, from Gelhausen to Fort Hood, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, you were about two. Almost two and a half. Okay. You dedicated 20 years or over 20 years in the service? 20 years. What is it? The, the, so the Marines and the Army, uh, would you say units, they say different things like, what is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. But you I, you guys would go, hua. Hua. Yeah. Hua. Good. And what does that mean, Dad, when you say hua? Like, it's a motivational thing. A you motivational agree. Motivational thing. Okay. Um, it's like, yes. Or oh, okay. when you're ready to go do something, you know, hoo -ah, hoo -ah. you know, you bring it's it like from the fire gut. them up, fire them up. There you up, go. Fire there them you up. Go. Yeah. It's all good. Make it happen. <laughs> okay, Dad, ready to wash our hands? Yes. Okay, let's go. So, what makes this recipe the quick fix way is we're actually going to start this off in the oven. Okay. In the oven. Okay. In the oven. It's at 275 degrees right now, and we're going to slow cook it for about or bake it for about two and a half to three hours, and then we're going to finish it off on the grill. 
Sounds like a plan. So it makes it just really easy, you okay. know what I mean, and, and practical. Got it. And manageable, right? Quick fix. Quick fix. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this up with foil. So go ahead and uh, I think we'll probably need two, Dad. Um, yeah, can you tell me the right way of saluting? Because I see some people that are like no. that, and it's like, no, what is it? It's on an angle. Angle, okay. Index finger. Index finger, that's that, Tip right? The eyebrow, angling down. Like down, that. oh! How does that look? Then you gotta snap. Left, left, no, no, left, no. right. <laughs> that's, so, that's what I would hear in the back. Am so I lying? I hear that's it all day long. That's what I would hear in the back. All day. Left, left, <laughs> left, right. Okay, and then you go, Order. Oh. oh, that's what it is. Go, Dad, do it. Go. Tell Order. me, this is what he would do. My dad would do this. Okay, ready? Go. Order. Oh. There you go. Snap, girl. Snap. <laughs> Keep your eyes heading on to the front, girl. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Oh, I love you, Dad. All right, Dad, do you want to do the honors? That doesn't matter. Putting them, just putting them in the. Uh, okay. okay, while yeah. I set up for the barbecue sauce? Okay. Thanks, Dad. Welcome. So we are making homemade barbecue sauce. Okay. And the reason why I love doing that is because you can control the ingredients that's going in. Well, you know what, let's start with the ketchup first. Okay. Then we have our brown sugar. One of the main reasons why I love making my own sauces is because I can really control the sugar content. That makes you sense, You know what I mean? Yeah. And the amount that's going yeah. in there, especially yeah. when you have kids. Yep, exactly. And then, again, you know, with kids, some of them don't really like barbecue sauce because you know they think it's very spicy. Right. So here again, I can control what's going in, and this is, you know, of course, to the taste. Spicy. Yes. So this is apple cider vinegar that we're adding into here, and then Dad, do you mind adding in the Dijon? Can you get it all out? There we I go. Think so. Okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and just me. Mm -hmm, mix all of this together. I'll just use the spoon, just like that. Oh, you guys, look at this. Mm. I'm telling you, man, the sauce is where it's at. Yeah, that's the key. Do you want to taste some of this so we can see okay. if we want to add in a little more? Okay, oh, you guys. This smells so good. Taste it. Is it good? Oh, it's here. Mm. It's good? Okay. Yeah. Do I need anything no. else in there? No. no. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead well, and set this aside, okay? Because we're going to. Put yeah, this on good. our ribs after, you know, they're done. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> What's great about this is you can also store this in oh. your, your refrigerator okay. up to two weeks in an airtight container. Wow. Yeah. So you have Just in case when you have leftovers. leftovers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little spoon. Okay. Yep. It. Okay. Get it on with a brush. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now we are ready to move on to my apple coleslaw. So we have juice okay. from a lemon, okay? We're gonna go ahead and add that to bring some nice sort of acidity to the salad, should I say. And then we have some mayo. Okay. You know what, Dad, can you hand me the, um, this pink one? Pink one. Yes, thank you. We have the mayo, that's going in there. And then we have some salt and some pepper. Go, and we're just gonna go ahead and whisk. Do you want to whisk, Dad? Yep. Go ahead. There we go. Okay, I think that's perfect, Daddy. Okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and start dumping all of our ingredients into this bowl. So we're gonna start with our cabbage, right? Okay. That we've just shredded up. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna add our celery. Okay, and then we're gonna add our onions. So as you can see, the way that I've cut up the onions and the celery is very similar to the cabbage because I want everything to kind of feel oh. like you like um I want it to look uniform. Does okay, that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Uniform, military, uniform. Well, well, well. Okay, I think everybody will get that uniformity. Right? <laughs> uniformity. So we're gonna add our apple in here and just look at how pretty this looks, you guys. This is just so nice and refreshing and fresh, and it, it pairs nicely with the ribs, okay. you know what I mean? Because the ribs can be a little heavy, but then we have like a nice salad to kind of, you know, go with it. Makes sense. So, where are the tongs? We got the tongs here. Do you want to do it, Daddy? We can go ahead and, and just toss. I'll follow you here later on that Yeah, one. just go ahead and you just toss it. it all together. I'm just going to get my hands. Down in there? That's what I was going to yep. ask. Oh, yeah, Dad. There you go. There we go. Wait, Dad, you know what? There's one other 
ingredient that's really important. Okay. You can't forget that. The honey. Oh. So I'm just gonna just put about, you know, maybe a tablespoon of honey, just to make it really nice and just the 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 the, the the acidity, you know, from the lemon, and then we have the sweetness from the honey. Yeah. It's just gonna be like a party. So you just <laughs> okay. So yeah, this good. looks amazing, you guys. Look at this. This uh, looks, looks great. Right. And did you see how easy that was? Uh, very. So I'm just gonna go ahead, pop this into the refrigerator, and then we're gonna start working on our dessert. Got it. Okay. Do you want to put it in the refrigerator yeah. for me too, Dad? Okay. All right, Dad. So yeah. we are celebrating red white and, and blue, blue today. The red is for our ribs, the white was for the apple coleslaw. Now we're gonna do the blue, or combining all of the colors together mm -hmm. for our dessert, our cake. Good. So we have the blue here with the berries, the blackberries, and the raspberries, okay? So we're gonna make a nice fruit salad, should I say, to go on top of our cake. Oh, okay. So that's what we're gonna start with first. Okay. Okay, so I have um, juice from a lime. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. And then I'm gonna add some honey, okay. about two tablespoons of honey. There we go. Dad, can we not tell them how great this smells? Oh, it's, it's, it's kicking. It's, it's like off. so refreshing. Oh, yeah. And on a hot summer day, yeah. It's so amazing. We've added our berries to our amazing dressing here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that all of the berries are coated. The story, <laughs> though. Remember the story where you said one, one time you were, like, sleeping and you were leaning, or somebody was. A soldier was leaning against the wall, oh, and they were oh, sleeping. No. Was I, that I, you? I, no, that was me. That it was, was me. somebody else. I was at the next level. So I, my, one of my responsibilities was to go check on the company's CQs. So I rolled up one evening on this guy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this sergeant. Yeah. I don't know where the private was at that time, but he had his head down on the desk just like this. So I just knew he was sleeping. Sleep. Okay? <laughs> Which was not a job. good, but it wasn't a good thing. Right? So I said, hey, dude, or sergeant, sergeant, sergeant. And then he, amen. Man. <laughs> So he was <laughs> pretending to be praying, 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 but and, he wasn't praying. No, he, was really he was knocked <laughs> out, right? And I says, "That was good, dude. Yeah. Don't worry about it. That was so good." So the next time you're sleeping on the job <laughs> and your yeah. boss comes <laughs> over, just be like, "Amen." Amen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are moving on to our whipped cream, and you could actually do this yourself. This is just heavy cream, and we're just gonna whip this until we get some really nice peaks. Okay. You know what I mean by peaks? Yes, yes. Okay, please. all right. I always get scared, you guys. Oh, for the up. Yeah, just start off slow to you. There we go. Okay, but then I'm gonna have to bring it up. Okay, there we go. Take it. Here, do you mind putting this in the... Nope. Ah! <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some honey, okay? Probably like maybe two tablespoons. Just so they get really nice and sweet. There we go. Thanks, Daddy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna fold it in there like so. Oh, look at that! Would oh. you say fold it? Fold it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh! It's looking good. <laughs> this, again, is the quick fix way. Boom! We have an angel food cake. This is an easy cake to make yourself, or if you want to cut some time, you can just get this at any grocery store. You just ask for an angel food cake, and voila, it is delivered to you just like this, which yeah. makes it so easy. So my point is, is that you don't have to be this, you know, extraordinary baker to and then make time. a great cake. It's the time. Yes, it's exactly. Cut the time so we can what? More time. Chillin'. Then grill. <laughs> time. Grillin'. Grillin'. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start putting this on top, mm -hmm. our whipped cream that we just whipped up, on top of our cake. Just like that, right? Okay. <laughs> Should have had quick fix like back in our day. Cake. Huh? Should have had quick fix back in our day. Right? Huh? Oh my gosh, yeah, Dad. This is all about time. Let me taste this. 
Is it good? <laughs> it's so nice and fresh. Yes. Now we're just gonna go ahead and just start adding our fruit on top, like this. And if it falls, that's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you wanna? So it's all taste. coming together now. The red, the white, and the blue. And the blue. Do you wanna help, Daddy? Yeah, I was gonna ask if I could. Kind just of go ahead and just piece. start. Yeah, just start putting. Yeah, I would rather do it with my hand. That's. Because yeah. it's a little more. You worked at the right side. It's coming together. Yay. Okay, so we still have some more time on the ribs, but they are almost ready. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead, put this in the refrigerator, and we're gonna start setting up outside there you go. to finish off our ribs. On the grill? On the grill! There you go. Okay. Make it happen. Thanks, Dad. You're oh, welcome. let me open it up for you. Okay. All right, so we are finishing off our ribs on the grill just to give it that nice oh, smoky flavor, right? What we all love with ribs. And then we want that nice caramelization from the barbecue sauce. So it is really nice and finger licking good. Oh, Dad, do you smell this? Oh my God, Tia, yeah, yes. I wish yeah. you guys could oh. smell this. This yeah. smells and looks so incredibly good. It does. Um, I'm ready to dive in, Dad. Okay, do you want let me cut this? Yes, let's finish this off. We have, again, our red, white, and blue uh, menu that has been inspired by the 4th of July. Ooh, so tea. we have our tea. ribs. Oh, tea, that look no, at that. That took, that took no effort. Uh, God. Looks so oh incredibly good. Do you want to just grab it, Dad? Let's no, just let's grab it. Okay. So we can start plating. Look at this, you guys. And Whoa, then we tea. have our coleslaw here. I'll just go ahead and add some of that. Just brightens up this dish, making it really nice and light. There we go. Perfect. And let's dive in, Dad. I mean, I'm gonna, these ribs are just like staring at me right now. So let's go. Oh, Dad, you said a little prayer. <laughs> so good, all right. Okay, ready? There you go. Come here. Hallelujah! Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm telling you. Tia. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> no. no, I'm telling you. Dad. You got me. You got me. And it's the rub. Mmm. I'm telling that you. That right rub. Now. You got me. Do you taste all of that flavor, Dad? Oh my god. Finger looking good. Oh my Finger god. Finger looking good. Okay, Dad, we gotta try the coleslaw. Mmm. Wow, you guys. I put my foot in this. We put our foot in this. No, you did. No, you did too, Dad. You help. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Taste that celery? No. You said it earlier. Cool and refreshing. Very cool and refreshing. Mm. What a great combination. Oh my gosh. This is so incredibly good. You guys, let me know some of your backyard barbecue ideas. I would totally love to see what they are. Yeah. And then also, you know, maybe I will, you know, try them out, right? Okay. Because we know we love a great backyard barbecue. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had an incredible time and you had just as much fun as my dad and I myself did. I did making this incredible backyard barbecue. And remember to have your friends and family check out Quick Fix and subscribe. Right, Dad? Tell them. Subscribe. 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 Hit it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that button. Hit that button. Hit that button. Subscribe, Hit it. girl. Subscribe. <laughs> it's all good. Thanks, guys. Bye.